Hello everyone and welcome back to another Trentin World 4 video. We are back on the East Coast mainland. We've got the Azuma all ready to go. Uh, and we're going to make taking a run down to Newark Northgate. So we're doing about half the route, 40 odd miles in about 20 minutes. So uh, it's quite quick. Uh, but we've got to get this set up still. So let's quickly um, get the ETCS sorted. SDO, uh, TBWS, Vigilance and DSD. We get them all sorted. Yeah, alright. They're all screaming at us. Come on. Yeah. Operational. Yeah, good. Uh, GSMR. Let's sort of, I suppose, get that set up. Just click the button and it will do it for us. There we go. And we're going to be calling at just Newark. So that's good. That's quick. Um, let's get the door shut. And then we shall make our way out. There we go. Right. Uh, let's get that off. We don't need that on. And uh, actually, we'll quickly. Okay, 25. Good. Let's go. So I've been trying to do it hudless. So I thought we'd do a bit of fog in this run. Uh, sort of. I mean, hopefully, as we go along, it will brighten up. But I thought we'll have another little look at the uh, volumetric fog. As we did have a little look at it in the Vectron. Um, and it sort of. At, right at the end, the sun started coming out. It was lovely. So I thought we'd I thought we'd do it again. They're coming out of Doncaster. You've got some workers over there. What are they doing over there? Let's have a look. Just chilling out there. Oh, I think these are the, the new meta humans they're called. So they're like a higher resolution NPC. Oh, there they are. Looking about, pointing and staring at random things. Right, we are nine coaches. Let's get that sped up. I'm not speeding that up. How many miles is it to Newark? 33. 33 miles. Cool. So we're going to be skipping out Retford on this. So it really is going to be a quick service. I mean, some of them go non-stop all the way from Doncaster to Peterborough and vice versa. It's like, you know, 80 miles in 50 minutes. I mean, for any Europeans watching, that's probably like nothing. But here in the UK, that's like, wow. Right. That's going up nicely. As we curl our way out of Doncaster. So I've got to remember, there is a cheeky speed limit on here. It's a hunt It goes up to 125, but then it comes right down to 110. So I've got to remember where that is. Obviously with the fog it's going to make it slightly more tricky. But talking about the fog, what does everyone think of the fog? I just can't really see the headlight effect on it too much. It's not that dark. And the fog looks a lot, lot nicer than what it did before. Especially as it sort of starts to go away as well. Look, it will look nice. Let's get that got shed in there. The Class 66 has been utilised quite well on this route as well. There's a ton, ton of services in it. And some of the freight services are about two hours long. So if you like your UK freight, this is a good route. Yeah, two hours long, some of them. I think one was, I think, even two and a half hours long. So, um, yeah. Long old services. I've got to try and remember where that 110 limit is. If it was a sunny day, probably be alright with it. But as it's all foggy, it's going to make it a slightly more trickier. And that's after this. It's that, it's not too far out of Doncaster, the 110. So, so I've just got to be on the watch out for it. And if we do miss it, it's not the end of the world. Um, as then we'll remember it, hopefully, uh, then for next time. Right, I don't it's when it, it's it, when it goes it's when it goes back into two tracks. I know that as we sort of then go around the corner and it's yeah. So it's when it goes into two again. So I'd imagine it probably is coming up quite soon. At least I want to think it's quite soon. It's sort of, it's looking out for visible markers. As I mean, in this, you can't see much, can you? 
So bridges, signals. Well, I'm going to start coming down to 110 now. And I bet it will still be about 5 miles away. <laughs> now I think it is coming. We're going a bit of a cutting as well. Which at the moment we're not really... I think is it a cutting? Yeah. Come on, please be soon. Hopefully I'm not too far off. Where are you, 110? Show yourself. I bet it is still miles away, isn't it? I was saying that. It can't, we're on a bit of a corner now. Still haven't seen the speedboard, but it may be coming up quite soon. Or maybe not, back on another straight. It's like, we may as well just speed back up to 125. Then we'll do... Oh, there's a warning board for it. Although we didn't get any AWS for it. Okay, there is a warning board for it. That's all right, then. Don't know how I didn't see that the last time. But then there's no AWS warning for it. I don't know if there should be. But there's the 110. Trainee driver. Trainee driver of the East Coast Main Line. So, sort of, yeah, just learning and seeing and... So there is a warning board for that one, so you've sort of just got to keep an eye out for that. See, what I have to do is just do it at night time at some point, sort of proper sort of throw yourself in the deep end. And it then goes back up to 125. I oh, know there's another speed. No, it could be 115. I know there's another, there's another sort of weird speed limit, I think, before. Is that between Grantham and Retford? Might be that section actually. But I know there's a 115 along one of these bits. Yeah, no, 125. Okay, maybe it's on the next bit then. That must be what I'm thinking of. Let's start speeding that up now. Fog's looking nice on the field, sort of the early morning fog. Also, it might be nice if we get a little bit of rain as well, because then we can see the new uh, rain effects, which look pretty nice. Right, that's going up. And through Retford, I think it was... It, it definitely slows down through Retford, I know that for sure. It's starting to get a bit brighter, so we might see the sun make an appearance. That would be quite nice. It's so nice seeing the sun breaking through the clouds, and I think we might have that. Which is just lovely. I'm just seeing sort of the light on the fog as well, and then the fog sort of, yeah, the, the sunlight on the fog. It's really nice. It's sort of, sort of more of a haze. Redford can't be too far along. It's when we see the 50 warning board. There'll be a 50 warning board with an arrow pointing that way. Uh, well, that be, yeah, but we'll point to the left. That's when we sort of know we're coming up to Redford, as that'll be for the um, trains going into the um, into the platform there. As the platform has through lines, or the station has through lines. That's what we're looking out for. Let's try and get a nice image. Go in photo mode. You won't get me out of photo mode now. Try and get a nice one with the fog. Even if it's not all fa all these fancy settings and which I probably won't be. Just something though, something we can use as a thumbnail. Oh, I've got a cat going on the desk as well. It's all, go all going on. Yeah, I'm hoping that sun... Oh, does come out. That's not a nice smell. 
Okay, yeah. Well, the cat's come on, come on, come on, sitting on my lap, but um, yeah. Oh, yeah, not nice uh, smell. I told you we can't have a video where we record it without something going on. There's always something going on. Right, so keeping an eye out for that 50, because then we know Retford's approaching, and I believe the speed does come down at Retford. Right, so we want to slow down. But there's the 50, so we're now coming up to Retford. So I'm going to start slowing that down. I can't remember if it's 100 or 115 through on the through lines. I'm going to come down to... Hmm, I might come down to 100, just in case. Only if we do it, it's only like not much of a difference, so. Yeah, on the approach to Retford. And after that's then on toward, onwards to Newark Northgate. There's yeah, Grant from Newark Northgate, they're both a hundred through there. I know it's not going to be less than 100. Maybe it is 120, 125. I don't want to risk it. We're still new to the route, so. There's the 50 going off there. Any speed board for this line? Okay, we have got a warning board for a 120. Okay, 120. Okay, that's yeah, not much of a difference then. 120 for a Retford on the fast. Well, that's a good place to watch trains going past then at basically almost line speed. Oh, and there's the 120 there. And I think it comes down to 115 along here as well. It, it does come down again at some point. So again, sort of all, all focus for, for that. And I don't think it has a warning board either. But I'm enjoying this route. I mean, I know a lot of people, myself, were sort of thinking oh, it's going to be quite sort of boring. It's going to be a bit like a Castle Versberg, where you're just sitting there, full speed the whole way. It's just, yeah, not much to do. But I don't know. It's If you're doing an all stop service, which are fun to do, or some, you know, one which is stopping at places, it's, I mean, even if you are doing a fast one, it's still fun. There's sort of, sort of, you know, quite a few speed changes and. Well, not many, but you've got to be on the ball. There's the 115. So that's not too far after Retford. Which we're already going at 115, so that's all good. I was prepared. Well, does it come down again? And the marker for Newark and Northgate is I'm thinking I literally just streamed this going this way all the way to Peterborough I'm trying to think what the marker was it's sort of yeah you sort of come around the corner and it's like a really just long straight and that doesn't but yeah probably doesn't make much sense but we'll see you'll see you'll see what I mean I think there's also a warning board for the 100, but that's probably too late to slow down there. There's the 115 board for going back the other way. So it should speed up soon again, because at the moment it's still 115. I haven't seen any other speed board which allows us to go at a higher speed yet. Well, I'm hoping we see one quite soon. Fingers crossed. There's another RET. But no, I'm I'm happy it's out. I'm happy it is out because it's we were sort of we were in a really sort of dead period, weren't we? Where there was, no, we had that. Yeah, I think the 700 10th of July was the last release beforehand. So, uh, and I know we had the Norfolk Southern Heritage Pack, but nothing really that fancy. So it's nice to actually have another release and, a, and another few routes out. 
it's now sort of exciting and new again. Yeah, t over two months of sort of just nothing. Right, there's 125 again. Let's get that back up. But yeah, um, give it a go. Get the hard off and see how you get on. I mean, this route is probably quite a good route. It's a long old route, but it's good-ish for if you're new to doing hardless. Because there's not many speed changes and there's not many stations. So give it a go. Get the hard off and see how you get on. I mean, if you go through a station, it doesn't matter anymore because... Um, the objective will just say objective failed and it will just move on to the next one. So if you fly through a station, it doesn't matter. You can still complete the service and probably still get a platinum medal. You could just say the train got told not to stop there. That's, I think, for the various level crossings along this route. So you'll, you'll get that a lot where there's a double yellow. And just as you get there, it flicks to a green. It's something to do with the level crossings, I think, on the route. There's tons of them. <clears throat> Back up to 125 miles an hour running. And I think it's 125 miles an hour until you get to the 100 at Newark. It's probably the... I'd say it's probably the hardest station to stop at Newark, as there's not really much indication that you're coming up to it, apart from when it's really late. As you've got the flat crossing and the sort of bridge beforehand, but if you start slowing down from 125 there, you're probably not going to stop there without going emergency brakes. So now I've got to start a bit. I've got to start paying attention quite a bit now. It won't be too long, and we'll be coming up to it. All eyes, all focus. Right, this, I think, is the top end of Newark, or at least some sort of village just north of Newark. So I remember seeing that... Um, when I did this before, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll start slowing down here. I slowed down. It was still a little way to go. <coughs> so, yeah, that's sort of the top end of Newark, or a village north of Newark. So, the next sort of place is Newark. I don't think it's just yet. Got a passing loop. Could that be a marker for Newark Northgate? I think it still is a little bit of a way yet. <coughs> it's just sort of finding the perfect place to start braking. So you've got to do it sort of a few times to then sort of find that perfect place. Right, there's the passing loop. Got a cross over there. Double crossover. I think I might start slowing down now. Or is it too early yet? No, I'm going to start slowing down. We've got a bridge. Is that a bridge coming up? It's like a, a road bridge over the top of us. Got now neutral section, neutral section. Actually, I think that was, yeah, I think that's a good marker for New York, the neutral section there. Or at least that's the warning for it. So, yeah, quite soon after that, it's then Newark. So, we've come down a little bit early there again. But I've only done this once going this way, Huddler, so. Try and get a little bit of speed before that neutral section again. Speed it up a little bit. We were testing the brakes. Uh, there it is. Is this the neutral section? I don't know. There's the neutral section, which I don't think they actually work. They do on the Vrauberg, but I don't think they do on this one. Yeah, then we come round this corner, and I think it's in basically dead straight into Newark. I think. 
once it straightens up. Yeah, there's the road bridge going over the top and the signal box. So I'm going to start start applying brakes now. We're already at 100, so we've already come down a little bit. Okay, there is a little bit of a corner. All right, all right. So you've got the road bridge and the signal box. Now this must be the straight. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This this has got to be it. And it is a hundred miles an hour over the flat crossing, so you've got to slow down anyway. Not sure if there's a warning board for it though, which doesn't really help. In fact, we might actually just got we might just get rang down for it as we terminate at Newark, or don't terminate, but we'll drive a change. This up we are. Okay, so oh, there is a warning board for the 100. That's good. So I suppose you probably could start slowing down. Nah, actually, you know, you wouldn't be able to go hunt. No. Unless you went full brakes, maybe you could start slowing down at the warning to the 100. But I mean, that would be risky. I mean, no, yeah, that would be a bit risky. So yeah, probably best is basically once you get past that signal box and that road bridge, you've got a little bit of a corner, then you straighten up, and then it's sort of into it. There's the flat crossing. It's quite hard to see because I've all the fog, but I believe we are coming up to it now. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. <clears throat> hard to see because of the fog. Makes it fun. And this is Newark Northgate. That was a good run, and that was quite good as well. Um, I mean, it might be worth doing that. Maybe learn learn the route in two stages. Do sort of these little Newark services. To begin with, and then do the extra bit down to um, Peterborough, or the or vice versa. Yeah, they are though. That was good, good fun. And hopefully, we've had well, a nice little look at the fog as well. Or not sort of another look at it on the, on on this route. Put that into max break. Do that. Do that. Cool. That was fun. And then there'll be a driver change here. And this is then going to well, it's going to King's Cross. So it's probably just not stopping at Grantham or Peterborough. It's going fast. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it from me. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, big thanks to Dovetail for giving us a key. Links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your day, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.